Be careful when placing bids on StockX. Buyers beware, this StockX bid cost me big time. Sneakerheads Outright Brand just dropped their new merch collection. Every single week, we get a new pair of sneakers. Outright Brand makes clothing, t-shirts, hats, shorts, and a bunch of clothing to match our favorite sneakers. So make sure you guys check out Outright Brand with my link down below in the description. Go cop yourself a fire t-shirt. They are very high quality, fit true to size. They have brand new merch every single week. Clothing is very high quality and very comfortable. I must say, I wear their t-shirts all the time. Make sure you guys check out Outright Brand with my link down below in the description and use my promo code Danny Moore for 10% off your entire order. Every week, Outright Brand drops new clothing on their website and it sells out very quickly. It's only up for a few days. So make sure you guys check out Outright Brand and check back every week so that you guys can cop new Outright Brand gear to match your favorite sneakers. Thanks to Outright Brand for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys check them out and if you cop anything, send me a DM on Instagram, dannymore2369 with an order confirmation. Send me that screenshot and I have a surprise for you. Make sure you guys check out Outright Brand for high quality merch to match your favorite sneakers. This StockX bid cost me big time. Very big. I'm talking over $1,300 big. That's a big hit. You know, during these rough times right now, what's going on in the world, nobody wants to fork over $1,300, especially right now for a pair of sneakers, right? Let me know down below in the comments. Are you buying sneakers that are over $1,000 right now? I don't feel like most people are spending that type of money. I put a bid up on StockX. And I'm just going to open up the shoe, show you guys the shoe. We'll get into what happened. It's absolutely crazy. And I completely forgot. I messed up. But I'm making this video to make sure that you guys do not make the same mistake that I did when you're placing a bid on StockX. So here we have the Nike SB Rainbow Box. We got some heat in here. Over $1,300 of some heat right here from StockX. These are absolutely fire. Absolutely crazy. Here is the StockX receipt. And we have the shoe. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. I am mind blown. These are crazy. These are fire. These have really helped my channel. The Chunky Dunky Nike SBs. This right here is one of those shoes that have definitely helped my channel grow. That is for sure. It's one of the videos that really did well for me early on in my YouTube career here. And here they are, the Chunky Dunkies. These are absolutely fire. I'm actually really thrilled of how these look. These are so dope. And this pair is really nice. From what I understand, the cow print does vary from pair to pair, as well as the rainbow on the inside does vary. So this pair is very, very dope. Now, I want to tell you guys what happened what mistake I made, what happened here with StockX placing this bid. This is ridiculous and very annoying. So StockX has this feature when you're buying sneakers that you can place a bid. When the seller accepts the bid, well, the order will be placed and you'll wind up getting your sneakers. So that's exactly what happened here with the Chunky Donkey. However, I completely forgot that I even put this bid in. I put the bid in well before I went to Vegas. And you guys know when you're in Vegas, you're gonna spend a lot of money, right? Vegas is expensive. And this timing could not have been any worse. I was leaving for Vegas, and I want to say maybe about a week before, boom, I got the charge of the Chunky Donkeys. They were already on the way. Once you place the order on Stock StockX, you cannot cancel it. That's it. So, I put up a bid for a Chunky Donkey. I completely forgot about it. Why? Because I let the bid up for like two, almost three weeks, and boom, out of nowhere, accepted and here they are. Timing sucked. Timing absolutely sucked. With everything going on in the world right now, do I really want to be spending over $1,300? Here's a picture of how much it was. It was like over $1,340. Do I want to spend $1,340 on a pair of sneakers right now? No, not really. Especially an older release? Not really. Not to be honest with you, no. Why did I do it? Because I felt like the price was right for them. I feel like it was a good price. I do need them in the collection. That's also a big part of why I did it. But for some reason, I just regret it right now. Timing was awful. So listen, if you're gonna place a bid on StockX, buyers beware. Please, guys, remember that you did it 
or try your best to just hit buy now or work it out because at the end of the day, if you're going to place the bid, make sure timing is right because if timing sucks and that money comes out of your account, you're basically out of luck. There's nothing you can do. You got to wait for the shoe to come back, sell it back on StockX or anywhere else and possibly take a loss on it, which is not a good look. So yeah, that does suck. But it is nice to see the Chunky Donkey Nike SBs after all. They are fire, man. These are clean. I definitely regret not picking these up sooner than later. And now couldn't have been any worse because we do have other sneakers come out. You know, there's more expensive shoes that I do have to buy here for content. I just went to Vegas and, you know, this couldn't have hit at any worse of a time hitting my bank account. Hit for over $1,300 right before I'm going to Vegas. That sucked. It is my fault, of course, for placing the bid and leaving the bid up for so long. Let me show you guys what happens when you place a bid on StockX. I'm gonna hit buy, and now I'm going to make an offer here, and now you could place bids, right? You guys see you could place bids. It tells you what they think is a good bid, a better bid, and then the buy it now price, or you could just name your price of what you wanna put a bid at. Well, that's exactly what I did. The problem is the bid expiration date, I left it alone at 30 days. You could change it to a day, three days, seven days, 14, 30, 60. I made it 30 days. It's automatic at 30. I left it at 30 days, which means you have a whole month where someone can accept the bid. You're basically saying, hey, take my money a month up to a month from now for a pair of sneakers. And at $1,300, over $1,300, that's a big hit. Especially, you know, with everything going on in the world. Rent, bills are crazy, everything's crazy. Everything's going up in price in life. And especially while I was going to Vegas. So that definitely hit and hit my bank account hard. Let me know if you guys have ever had this problem when buying shoes on StockX. Do you use the bid feature? Do you stay away from the bid feature because of something like this possibly happening where you're just not ready for the money to come out? You're ready for it at that point when you're placing the bid, you might be ready the day after, but who knows? Are you gonna be ready for that bid to be accepted three weeks later? Maybe, maybe not, right? Money comes, money goes. It's the way life works. So yeah, this couldn't have been any worse of a time. At the end of the day, Chunky Donkey SBs are here. They do look good. Everything looks real. StockX, they got my shoes here. And it didn't take long at all. So, you know, this was a good experience overall buying from StockX. Just my fault for the bid feature. And I want you guys to watch out for this bid feature. If you're using it on StockX, I know some people stay away from StockX. Some people stay away from the bidding process because of what just happened to me. So I get it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your experience down below with buying from StockX. I highly recommend you guys check out the Chunky Donkeys. These are straight fire. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys check out Outright Brand for high quality tees to match your favorite sneakers. Link down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop. Always dropping that fire. Straight fire. The Chunky Donkeys are fire. Straight fire, man. Thanks for watching, guys. We out.